and a weather girl from the 1200 meter marker. Extra Vargent, Lady Legend, the first two to break the line. Nakia, Blush of Dawn's not far off the action. Rainbow Unicorn toward the inside. Flashy Katrina, Mr. Minister, Beat It, Naoshima, Marsan, Retail Therapy. Lady Legend picks up at the 750 by a half. Blush of Dawn is right up there in the vanguard. Extra Vargent's not far off them. Nakia. Flashy Katrina's around them with about five lengths to make up. Rainbow Unicorn beat it. Naoshima Marsan. Mr. Minister towards the back end of the field. Retail Therapy. Lady Legend onto the 400 meter marker being kept together. Extra Vargent goes in. Blush of Dawn's looking to apply pressure. Nakia's trying to close in. Beat it's come out for a run. But Blush of Dawn's picked it up coming to the 200. Extra Vargent. Lady Legend's trying to find more. Beat it's running on towards the outside. Nakia. But Blush of Dawn has the lead from Flashy Katrina the last bit. And going down to the post. Blush of Dawn won it. Beat it's involved in second with Flashy Katrina, Extra Vargent, and there's even one further out who's also involved for the minor positions going down to the line. So number eight, Blush of Dawn picked it up to win it and goes on to score. Number eight, Blush of Dawn is victorious in the lucky last. Beat it's putting her nose down in the latter stages with Extra Vargent. Let's see... Well, very, very close. If we go back just a fraction, maybe Extra Vargent second, but we'll wait on the judges. So Extra Vargent, Beat It, Retail Therapy, Lady Legend, Nakia Naoshima. Blush of Dawn down the middle of the course comes home very, very strongly. Towards the outside, Beat It, Extra Vargent on the left, the green cap. And as they come down to the post, number eight, Blush of Dawn is continuing to go. So Blush of Dawn, number eight, in the lucky last. And then we'll wait on the photos. Let's have a look there. Second and third. Probably Extra Vargin second. Beat it third. And maybe Flashy Katrina fourth. But wait on official confirmation. Back to the studio. As the hits kept coming for Dean Kanemeyer's stable, the hits keep coming for Garth Puller's stable, a yard that's bang in form, a yard that uh, is certainly doing well and uh, making people, well, people just keep noticing. Blush of Dawn, the filly by Noble Tunes, uh, really done well here today. She's got consistent form. Garth's back from his short vacation and his birthday celebration. Happy birthday, Garth, and well done. Thank you. And uh, I was talking to, I think it was somebody from the Sporting Post, and I, I, I forget the, na the age, but we're not going to talk about that, but they said one of the best, look, how old? 21. 21. One of the best looking 21 year olds they've ever seen. The 48th anniversary of the 21st. <laughs> well done. Let's talk about Blush of Dawn. Consistent horse. Uh, seemed to be nasty temperamented in, in the number one box, and uh, she's really doing well for her owners. Um, she's quite feisty, I must say. She's, okay. Yeah, she probably preferred a little bit further. But um, she's very consistent. I mean, right from before lockdown, she's been on the boil, and I haven't been able to switch her off. If I slow down on her, she throws the jockeys off at the pull-up. So she's <laughs> one of those horses that does her best every day. And uh, as you saw with Lyle, he went to plan B. We were going to give her a little bit of a chance. Um, not far off them, it's a 12, which is on the short side, but she bounced up to the speed, and he had her nicely placed. And she won nicely at the finish, I'm, I must say. And I'd just uh, like to say uh, well done to Kathy. Kathy's my PA in Cape Town, and I keep on forgetting to mention her. Uh, Wendy, of course, if I don't mention I'm in trouble. Um, thanks uh, for the nice holiday. And, uh, and then to Mike and Sam back at the stables for their hard work and to Bishop and Eric. Uh, you know, it's a whole team effort. And then also to the Birch Brothers. The Phillies lease from the Birch Brothers. Um, it's got their Gary, I think. It, Gary it, Plats. Gary, it's but, Gary Plats, but the Birch Brothers actually bred it, I think. And uh, thanks to them and thanks to Lyle for a nice ride. And thanks to Lyle for the two winners on Sunday. And uh, yeah, long may it continue. Before you go, uh, because I, it's the last race, and just uh, Lyle, I won't keep you long. Uh, you, you went away for a few days break. You must be incredibly proud to know that you can leave a team behind that can fly the flag so high as they did. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's always good to know that you can leave the, the whole stable in, in good hands. And I've got Michael who's got a lot of experience. I mean, he was a private trainer for Mary Slack at one time. He's trained himself. He's a qualified equine dentist. And I've got Sam. She's doing well and she's working hard. I think she goes on vacation to, tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it's nice. I only went away for three days, but it's, uh, it was uh, three days of nice rest. Well done, Garth. Congratulations. Thank you. Lovely. And who better to learn from than the maestro himself, than the legend himself? Here we go. Now, what a winter. Again, it's been a good day. Well done. Uh, well done. Really fantastic effort. Uh, good day at the office. Yes, thank you very much. Fantastic day at the office. Um, all horses have run nicely, and the three winners is, of course, the cherry on the top. And, um, yeah, just alluding to this, this individual, uh, the planners have probably been halfway and, and come with a, a good rattle, but um, went to plan B after shipping the gate so well, and uh, I gained that advantage. So um, a little bit uh, of a different ride on her by her style, but she, I was really impressed that she, she kept going all the way to the line and um, it was a win full of merit so yeah of course of late um, to, to Mike he's done a great job and the team behind Sam and, and all the boys well done to them but uh, in general uh, to Mr Puller I've had such pleasure riding for him lately and um, enjoyed every minute of it and uh, long may the, the success continue with us. And again of course uh, yeah what a winter and uh, Drakenstein and uh, they've supported you and, and uh, quite rightly so. Yeah uh, so lucky to, to strike up um, such a good sponsorship or should I say a relationship with Drakenstein um, this season and uh, I just hope that we can go from strength to strength. Last question, what have we got to do to get your mom into the winner's enclosure? Maybe she must own a horse. That's maybe a good idea. <laughs> well done and uh, congratulations. Safe travels back to Joburg. Yes, thank you very much. Just uh, thanks to all the organisers. It's been a lovely day and I'm just grateful to be here. Thank you. Lovely. Lyle Hewitson, three for him, three for Lyle. Sponsored by Drakenstein and he's got his water winter cap on and uh, he's certainly a pleasure to watch riding and uh, well done to him. Sam's here and uh, Sam is uh, on course, uh, the uh, dam of uh, Lyle, congratulations to her as well. So Blush of Dawn's got it won and, and won a very good race. Well done Cathy Steele, Garth as well, well done to everybody concerned. It's been a glorious day's racing here at Hollywood Bets Gravel. We are at uh, Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday. So we'll see you up in the capital, Peter Maritzburg, from all of us here at the GTV studio, from all of us at Hollywood Bet Scravel. Good night. <laughs>